Well, we are getting much closer to the actual launch of AMD's Ryzen Threadripper CPUs, and a little bit of leaks have come out with the Ryzen Threadripper 1950X, as far as their performance, thanks to uh, Geekbench 4. Now, these numbers I'm going to take with a grain of salt, because a single core score of 4167, while that does seem a bit right, the multi-core score of 24539 seems a little bit low for this multi-threaded monster here, because that's not a whole lot different than the Ryzen 7 1800X score. It is running a much slower memory, running at 2133 rather than uh, 2933 like the Ryzen 7 1800X that we ran, as well as early drivers, early everything. This is pre-launch, so that's something that I'm going to take with a grain of salt, even though the single core performance score seems about where I would expect it to be with a lower uh, XFR and turbo boost speed. Now the big thing here is the support from Dell and Alienware seems to be off of the charts. So it looks like Dell will be announcing, or has rather, announced Alienware Area 51 desktops with Ryzen Threadripper along with Intel Core i9 CPUs, arriving on... 22nd of August. So we should see Threadripper by that time, before then, or at least on that time. Now, if it's going to be OEM exclusive at first, we don't really know yet, but I couldn't imagine that they would do that. Why else would they be making aftermarket motherboards from vendors? So it's going to be coming in their big, nice, uh, well, I guess nice is depending on how you feel about the design of the case, the big uh, triangle <laughs> case, uh, if you will. Now, the Alienware Area 51 desktops with 16 core tw and 12 core Ryzen Threadripper processors, according to Alienware, they are designed for megatasking, game streaming, and more. The new Area 51 Threadripper edition is ready for today's most demanding PC gaming enthusiasts and supports high performance configurations with a chipset that enables up to 64 PCIe Gen 3 lanes, even though we do know they all support. 64 lanes, so that's something to keep in mind there. Uh, all configurations come standard with factory unlocked, overclocked across all cores, and a liquid-cooled AMD Ryzen CPU Threadripper CPUs with Alienware's most powerful liquid cooling unit to date. Now we do have some pictures of this liquid cooler mounted to the socket there. You can tell it is an Asetek unit, both most because of the retention mechanism as well as the pump design. The iconic tr triad high quality unique engineering chassis built to deliver exceptional airflow, thermal management, and user ergonomics for daily use and future upgrades. Supports NVIDIA SLI AMD Crossfire technologies with dual and triple GPU options. Odd, they don't have anything for quad, but I guess that's the size of the case limiting that one. Uh, as well as it does introduce M.2 storage options for the Area 51 and built for the gaming enthusiast. Wanting the absolute best gaming performance while played with VR, 4K, or interestingly enough, 8K display. And of course, you know, the typical ramble rabble of marketing uh, jargon. That's really all there is today for this one. So we have uh, an August 22nd, at least, for some type of launch for AMD Threadripper. Well, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. If you want more information on this, hit the link to the, descript link to the article in the description. And we will catch you in the next video.